Have you ever imagined mixing cement with synthetic enamel and creating a formula that even the factories don't tell you about? Imagine discovering that the solution was always in your hands. You just needed someone to reveal the step-by-step -step process. Today, you will learn the function of each ingredient, why each step matters, and in the end, you will understand a technical detail that completely transforms this mixture. Pay attention, because there are important details until the very last minute. In a clean container, pour 250 milliliters of synthetic enamel. Go slowly, because the enamel is the basis of this process, and any waste here will affect the result. Now separate 50 milliliters of water at room temperature. No lukewarm, ice-cold, or impure water. This is serious chemistry, even if it's homemade. Next comes the cement. But here's a crucial step. Don't pour the cement directly onto the glaze. First, dissolve the cement in water. Add it gradually and stir patiently. The more homogeneous this paste, the better the final result will be. No lumps, no dry dust. Only when it's completely dissolved will you understand the reason for this technique. Leave a comment below telling me where you're watching from. Write your city and country. It's fascinating to see how far this content can reach to discover who's part of this huge community, and it inspires me to produce videos that are increasingly tailored for you wherever you are in the world. With everything well mixed, pour this cement and water mixture into the synthetic enamel. Now, before stirring with a spoon or spatula, let's make a homemade device that makes all the difference in the finish. Take a wooden stick and three nylon cable ties. Intertwine the cable ties to form an improvised propeller and firmly attach it to the end of the stick. Then, fit it into the drill chuck. This homemade device will work like a professional mixer, ensuring a much smoother texture without air bubbles, without lumps, and with a refined consistency. Ideal for a perfect finish. Start the drill slowly, gradually increasing the speed. Watch the liquid transform. That pure white will begin to turn grayish, more viscous, thicker. That's the cement starting to mix. Continue mixing until it's completely uniform. Now. Hold your curiosity. It's not time to explain that detail yet. The next ingredient is essential, white PVA glue. Here I'll add approximately 50 milliliters. This seemingly ordinary material has a function that you'll understand when you test it with me at the end. Add it and mix again with the drill. Now the paint is starting to take on a professional look. And there's one more touch. Like a good craftsman, it's time to add an essential ingredient, liquid pigment. Choose your preferred color. I opted for a dark blue tone, but you can use any shade that matches your project. Add it drop by drop, calmly, until you reach the desired color intensity. Mix slowly and watch the pigment incorporate into the mixture, creating a uniform and deep tone. Notice how this mixture is already completely losing that homemade paint look and gaining a finish worthy of a professional product with an intense, homogeneous, and visually sophisticated color that surprises anyone who sees the transformation happening before their eyes. After that, pour the final product into a clean container. The texture is already impressive, but let's move on to the real test. First test, a plasterboard ceiling panel. Anyone who has painted plaster knows the challenge. It's a porous, absorbent material that tends to soak up paint and stain. We're not going to use sealer, primer, or resin. Nothing, just our mixture. Apply the first coat with a roller in light, straight strokes, spreading the product calmly and carefully. Observe the coverage, uniformity, and especially the surprising adhesion to the surface. 
Wait a few minutes and apply a second coat in a crisscross pattern to further reinforce the finish. Two coats, simple, effortless, no prior preparation, and the result is already visually impressive. After applying two coats, it's ideal to wait approximately one hour for it to dry. This time allows the components to bond correctly, ensuring firmness, adhesion, and that solid finish we're looking for. Meanwhile, observe how the surface changes in appearance, becoming more uniform, more resistant, and with a visually professional texture, ready for testing and to impress with the final result. While the first piece dries, let's move on to the second test, a pure concrete sidewalk. Here the story is completely different because we're talking about a rough, rigid surface known for being difficult to paint without preparation. We won't have any kind of help, no primer, no undercoat, much less sealer or protective varnish. It's a direct application, the way nobody believes works. Apply the first coat in firm, steady strokes, ensuring the product penetrates the small pores of the cement correctly. After that, wait a few moments and apply a second cross coat, reinforcing the coverage, increasing adhesion, and improving the final finish. Let it dry for approximately one hour, allowing the chemicals to do their work. During this time, observe how the texture begins to evolve before your eyes. It becomes more consistent, firmer to the touch, drier, and noticeably more resistant. This process is fundamental and shows that the right technique completely transforms the result, even on a surface considered one of the greatest challenges for any type of handcrafted coating. After one hour, the most anticipated moment arrives, the moment of truth. We'll start by testing on concrete, which is one of the most demanding surfaces there is. Rub firmly, without mercy. Notice, nothing comes off. The ink stays put, doesn't scratch, fade, or smudge. Now let's take the test to the next level. Pour water directly onto the surface. Observe carefully. The water doesn't penetrate, doesn't seep in, doesn't soften, and doesn't wash away any pigment. It simply slides off, as if the concrete had received a professional waterproofing treatment. This isn't luck, this isn't improvisation, it's applied technique and real results, and you're seeing it happen right before your eyes. It's time to see the result of the paint on the plaster surface. The paint is now completely dry, with a firm and extremely crisp finish. Nothing peels, nothing comes off, and the texture remains uniform as if it were an industrial product. Now observe closely. When firmly touched, it doesn't raise dust, crumble, or any part detaches. The adhesion is total. After pouring water, observe how it runs off the surface without penetrating, staining, or being absorbed. The plaster, which would normally absorb any liquid in seconds, remains completely protected. Nothing seeps in, nothing alters the color, nothing compromises the finish. The surface is sealed, firm, and waterproof, with an appearance and resistance worthy of a professional product, a result that proves the effectiveness of this homemade formula.